What's up guys, back again with another video in the Java series. This time I'm going to teach you how to install everything on your computer so that you can begin programming in Java. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is install the Java JDK, which stands for Java Development Kit. And this will include everything you need to start programming in Java, and also it includes the Java JRE, which is the Java Runtime Environment, which includes the Java uh, Virtual Machine too. So that may be a little overwhelming with all that information, but basically it's just uh, Java, but for programmers, okay? This also includes the regular Java download. If you search Java download, this will include the Java, you know, free Java download that you would normally get. Uh, most people already have this on their computer. It's just, you know, regular Java that everyday people use on their computer to run Java programs. So for example, if you have Minecraft on your computer, you will likely already have Java installed because Minecraft is made in Java, so it needs Java to run, right? So you probably already have this. I would get it if you don't have it, but you don't, you don't actually need it because the Java JDK, the Java development kit, includes that inside of it. So if we go to this one here, Java SE downloads, we can see the latest download, which is Java SE 14. So Java Standard Edition 14 is the version, okay? So what we're gonna do is download this to our computer so that we'll have all the you know, development stuff so we can make Java programs and also the Java runtime environment, which is basically what everyday people use on their computer anyway. Anyway, so let's download this now just by clicking the download button here and you can see that it's downloading below here. All right, so here's the installer, it's loading up right now. But before I show you that, I'm gonna show you an easy way to figure out if you have Java already. So if you just search command prompt, and you open that up and just type Java inside of here and press enter. It says Java is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program, or batch file. So this means that your computer does not recognize that it has Java installed, so it, you probably don't have it installed. Um, either that or you don't have the path installed, but we'll go through that also, okay? Anyway, so we're going to install Java now, so click next, and it'll ask you where you want to install it. This is just, you know, the regular, let me zoom in for you. So this is just the regular default location for Java, usually where it's installed. Most people would just leave it here, so I'd recommend you leave it here also, okay? It's a very standard location, so let's click Next here. And now it's going to install Java 14 for us. It shouldn't even take long. But uh, yeah, so what it's going to do is basically copy Java into that directory you just, we just looked at a second ago. And then we can, from there, use it. Pretty simple. And uh, yeah, so let's let it do its thing, and I'll be right back. All right, so it's done installing. As you can see, you can click next steps if you want to. And it's gonna provide you a bunch of information like the release notes for Java 14, basically you know, what was added in Java 14. Um, it'll give you a full API documentation. It'll give you tutorials. Pretty much a lot of information you can use to start programming with Java, okay? So, you know, go through this if you want to. It's a, it's a gold mine of information. So click close now, and that should have Java installed. So if you wanna to check to see if it is actually installed, you can open up your file explorer. Then you can go to uh, this PC, go to your C drive, then go to program files, then go to Java. And then now you can see you have, oh, I have three versions of Java. I have Java 13.1, 13.2, and then the latest one I just installed a second ago is Java 14.1. So you should have this one if you installed the same as me. If by the time you're watching this, you know, Java 15, 16, 17 is already out, then obviously you'll have a different version, but it doesn't matter. Everything I'll be teaching you in this series will be relevant for future versions of Java, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? So if we close this command prompt that we opened a second ago and reopen it, we can see if we type Java again, it still says it's not, you know, recognized as a command or whatever, right? So we have to go to our environmental variables for our computer and set it to uh, recognize Java. If you enjoy if you already installed the Java SE, by the way, you know, the free version of Java, you're already going to have Java appear as already installed whenever you do it in the command prompt, probably. And that's okay, but if you want to use the latest version of Java, like Java 14, and you want to target that, then the next steps I'll be showing you is how you can do that, okay? So the first thing we want to do is click on environmental variables, and we want to go to this down here, the system variables, and add a new variable, okay? So we're going to click new, and we're going to add a new variable called Java underscore home. So Java underscore home and inside of here we want to put the path to our java installation so click browse directory and now we need to locate it so this pc this disk and it's basically just the same it's literally the same location that i just showed you a second ago so all you got to do is find it java java 14 and click ok so as you can see here we have c program files java java 14 or JDK 14, whatever, and click OK. And that's going to save that new Java underscore home path to your system variables. And then after that, you go to path. This is the path thing right here. 
So we're going to add a new path. So, so click new and we're going to put percent sign Java underscore home percent sign and then uh, slash bin. Make sure it's a, uh, I forgot which slash this is forward or backward slash, but just put this slash right here. Okay. And that's uh, all you need to do. So just click okay. And that'll do all that for you and click okay again, click okay again. And now if you did that correctly, you should have Java 14 targeted as your um, Java basically. So let's test this out. So we'll do Java. And now it says, it doesn't say what it said before. It gives you a bunch of uh, information on how to use the Java command. So if you want to see what version of Java you have, you can do Java space dash version. And now it'll say Java version 14.0.1. 2020 so definitely the latest version of Java, which is exactly what we wanted. Okay, and you could also do Java C dash version, and it says the same thing Java 14.0.1. All right, so that's how you can set your computer to be using the latest version of Java that you've installed, whether it's the JDK, the Java development kit, or just regular Java. That's how you can do that. Okay, same process pretty much. All right, so now that we have done that, we can install a Java IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. Okay. So search IntelliJ into the interweb, so IntelliJ. And IntelliJ is an IDE, Integrated Development Environment, that we'll be using to code Java programs. And everyone's using this nowadays. Another, you know, there's some other popular ones like Eclipse and NetBeans, but those are very um, old compared to, you know, the technology inside of this one here. This is very, very advanced compared to those. I just like it. And plus, it looks way nicer too. And uh, yeah, so there's a free version. There's also a premium version. You can actually get the premium version for free if you have a student email, so a .edu email. You can uh, get the free student license if you have one of those and just register with JetBrains um, and you'll be able to access not only IntelliJ IDEA, which is this, but also all of their you know IDEs that they have for other languages and stuff like that. So it's pretty useful. All right, so let's install this now. Click free download and download the community version, which is the free version. And uh, I already have IntelliJ Ultimate installed, but I'll go through the the community version process just for you. It's literally exactly the same thing, pretty much. All right, so the installer is ready. So you click next. Um, it'll ask you where you want to install it. It doesn't really matter for me. So I click next. And now you want to select 64 bit if you have a 64 bit computer. Um, click this, click this for Java files. You can also click these if you want to. Um, but these aren't really important. This is for other languages like Kotlin and Groovy, which are Java virtual machine languages basically sister languages to Java, but uh, we're not going to be doing those in this series because they're not the Java language. But yeah, if you want to use those, just click them if you want to. It doesn't really matter. And uh, so we'll click next, install, and it's going to install everything, obviously. So I'll be right back. Okie dokie. So everything's done now. So we can go ahead and click run IntelliJ uh, IDEA and uh, it'll open it up for us. Oops, let me zoom out. It'll open it up for us and uh, it's going to ask us a bunch of information so we can, you know, uh, configure it. But yeah, the first thing is that you're probably not going to see this, or maybe you will, but uh, this is just going to ask you if you want to import any previous settings that you might have had for previous installations of IntelliJ. But uh, we're going to pretend that this is the first time installing it for me, and it probably is the first time for you, so just click OK. And now it's going to open it up here, and then the first thing it's going to ask you is what you know UI theme do you want. I'm a big fan of the light theme. People would like to roast me because I use light theme and they think I'm blind or something like that, but... Uh, I really like it, it's very clean, but uh, you can also go with the dark theme if you're a loser. But yeah, I'm gonna go with the light theme for now. And uh, so click default plugins, and you can pretty much just leave everything how it is right here. So click future plugins. And if you want to make your uh, IDE look really nice, you can s install this plugin here. It's a basically a UI plugin, so you can click install if you want to use that. I use that for some of my videos. But uh, yeah, so click start using IntelliJ, and now it's gonna load it up for you. Here we go. So now before we create our first project, what we want to do is configure a few things. So go to configure, then go to structure for new projects. So now we want to set the project SDK, which is the development kit, also known as the Java JDK, which we just installed, didn't we? So click this drop down here and you can see all your installations of Java usually. I have my 14 right here and recognize that I have it. But if you don't see anything here, you can click add SDK, then go to JDK and you can select it um, by going to program files, Java, and just you know select it, click OK, and now it found it basically, so you can use that if you want to, but I already have it, it found it for me. And yeah, so just click Apply now, and that's going to basically set up every new project that you make for Java. It's gonna automatically have this SDK targeted as the Java development kit that you want to use. 
So that's all we need to do here. So just click OK. And now let's go ahead and create a new project so we can make sure everything works correctly. So click Java. Make sure you have the project SDK selected, but it should be selected already because we just did that setting a second ago. And you can leave all of this unselected here, this Groovy and Kotlin stuff. And then just click Next. Click Create Project from Template and click Next again. Then you can give your project a name. We'll say Test Project. Then you can click Finish and click Yes. And yes. You probably won't see that, but yeah, just click that. And uh, yeah, it's going to load up IntelliJ for you. And as you can see, you have your first project set up here. Okay. And if you're curious what IntelliJ does for you, it's basically like a really, really advanced text editor, like Notepad. Maybe you're familiar with Notepad. You know, this is a text editor for making simple text documents, but this is not suited for programming, obviously, because it doesn't have any, it's not made for programming. It's just made for text programs, very simple pro text programs. And uh, with a IDE, an integrated development environment, just like this one right here, you can make, uh, obviously, Java programs because it's suited for Java programs. And it has a lot of features geared towards Java programming, like suggestions when you're typing. So let me show you an example of that. I know everything's very small front right now, but I'll increase the size uh, for next episode. Don't worry. And uh, so yeah, I'll zoom in here and you can type system. And as you can see, it's providing a bunch of suggestions. It's trying to guess what you want to do. And so you can do system dot out dot print line hello and that should uh, print a hello message to the console when you run this program but we're not going to be doing a program this episode next episode we'll be running our first program so stay tuned for that so in case you're curious i'm going to show you how to make your ide look really nice you can go to file settings and then you can first go to editor and then font and if you want to increase the font or decrease the font you can go to this and just, you know, set it to whatever you want to. So originally for me, I think it was on 14, which is very, very small. So I changed it up to 20. So now you guys should be able to see that much better. And it looks really better for me too, because I have a really big screen. So um, this is really nice. And then also I recommend the JetBrains Motto font, which is a new font to buy this company. And it's really nice. It's nice and clean. And yeah, let's also go to appearance and we can go to, we can set the theme if you want to. We can change it from light to dark if you prefer a darker theme. So you can do that if you want to, if you're a loser, uh, just kidding, but yeah, it's up to you, but I prefer the light theme. I think it's very nice. And, uh, you can also set the custom font for this too. So you can change it. I think the original was consolas like this one here, but, uh, I prefer the JetBrains Mono, like I said, so we'll change it to JetBrains Mono. And you can also set the size for that too, because it's also very, very small, uh, when you first start up the program. So yeah, you can use that as you wish. And oh yeah, one more thing, you can go to File Settings and you can also go to Plugins here. And there's a bunch of different plugins you can choose from. There's a big marketplace. And uh, like I said before, there's a Gradianto plugin in case you want to try out some of the themes that this one offers. If you don't like the default IntelliJ theme, you can use the themes, themes provided by uh, this plugin here. There's also another uh, theme plugin called Material UI, which is very popular. So you can try that one out too. I used to use that one a lot. And uh, I'll be switching between all of these. I mean, I, I'm not sure really which one I like, but I like this one right now. So maybe I'll switch back in the future. But there's also material icons. That's another thing to make your thing look nice in case you want that. And yeah, so it's really up to you. Just play around with all the different marketplace add-ons. Just scroll through here, try them out and uh, use them if you want to. Okay, so make your IDE look really nice. And that's about it. That's everything I'm going to show you for this episode. Next episode, like I said, I'll be showing you how to make your first Java program. So hopefully you're excited for that. Um, in the meantime, you can join our Discord community. We have a big Discord community. As you can see here, we have uh, a bunch of different help channels in case you need help with your programs for Java, C++, Minecraft, uh, Python, web development, anything that you really want. And also you can get some friends if you don't have any. But yeah, if you're interested in joining, there's a link in the description for you. So click that link and you can join our community and yeah have some friends and that's about it for this episode so if you like this video leave a like if you want to see more subscribe and peace